What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and for our first video in 2024. This is sure to be a big year not only for the very likely release of Nintendo's next gen console, the Switch 2, but also the games that will undoubtedly be released for it, namely the big one that we all want, Metroid Prime 4, but also a new 3D Mario is likely and some key AAA third party games. So in this video, we'll be discussing a developer that may have leaked the time range of when Switch 2 will be released in 2024. And also we'll be discussing some very interesting discoveries about AI upscaling and DLSS for the Switch 2 that I know haven't been shared by other channels. And one thing that I try to do with my videos is not simply repeat what others cover, but I try to add something new and interesting to the discussion and this video is no different. So if you enjoy this type of content, please hit the like button and subscribe because this year is looking like it could be the most interesting yet for the future of Nintendo. Now, for the Nintendo Switch 2, there has been various rumors and information going around out there for the past year about when the console will be announced and released, with the most common one being a second half of 2024 release all the way up to holiday 2024. However, there was also rumors from Eurogamer saying that Nintendo would actually like to get the Switch 2 out sooner rather than later, perhaps even targeting a summer 2024 release, with all this depending greatly on the chips and part supplies for the console. So if a summer release were to happen, you'd think that an announcement of the Switch 2 in early 2024 would be happening soon since usually Nintendo at the very least has given a six month window from announcement to release of their new hardware and the same was given for Switch 1 which was announced end of October 2016 and then released about five and a half months later in early March 2017 which gave Nintendo time to preview the console have a big event showcasing the games and to get its marketing and pre-orders in place. So this brings us to the Switch 2 and the release of the console. But before Nintendo can release it, they have to officially announce it and drop its reveal trailer, right? So the question from the start of 2024, which is now of course, on everyone's mind who follows Nintendo is, when will this be? When will Nintendo announce Switch 2 so we can pre-order and look forward to purchasing it on launch day? Well, various rumors have said Nintendo will have an event in January. Some have said February and some have even said March in terms of when it could be announced. However, we have an interesting piece of info that may have been leaked or shared either on purpose or just by happenstance by a developer giving a major clue as to when the Switch 2 could either be announced or even released. Now this comes from publisher East Asia Soft in a tweet they posted that many people may have missed at the very end of 2023. And to be honest, there are so many Switch 2 videos out there guys and rumors and many with just false info mind you. I'm sure for viewers out there, it has become really easy to simply skip a lot of the content while we wait for an official announcement from Nintendo, and I don't blame you. However, East Asia Soft tweeted out that they are proud to announce that action RPG Zhang Yang Sword 7 is coming to Nintendo Switch in Spring 2024. We're working hard to make this an epic swan song for the system. Spring 2024, swang song for the system. So they basically said at the end that the current Switch is pretty much done in terms of new releases, at least for them, and by spring of 2024. Now keep in mind, this company ships niche JRPG and indie games on the Switch, so you'd think that even after Switch 2 is out, they'd still support Switch OG, right? Yet here they say spring 2024 is the swang song for Switch OG. And interestingly enough, spring has a date range of March 19th, 2024 through June 20th, 2024. So you could take this to mean a few things. Either Switch 2 is going to be announced during these three months, or it could be released during these three months. Since the last day of spring is June 20th, which would be a date range for Switch 2 to release if Nintendo announced it this month. However, with the way it's worded, I'm thinking, and I'm just speculating here, since Nintendo could literally not Switch 2 any day in 2024, and it wouldn't shock anyone at this point if they did, but if Nintendo announces Switch 2 at the very end of March or early April, that would give them six months or so until September-October time range to release the console for the fall, 
which sounds about right for how Nintendo has traditionally released consoles besides their handhelds, which honestly have sometimes released in these earlier parts of the years, like the 3DS and the Nintendo Switch. Now, honestly, I'd be happiest if they announced this console tomorrow, basically, and it released by June, but since this publisher is releasing this Switch game as a swan song in spring of 2024 for the Switch, I'm thinking that Switch 2 might be announced by then, and everyone will know it's the end for Switch 1. However, either way, this is going to be an exciting year to see where this goes for Nintendo and when they do finally announce Switch 2. The main thing I'm going to be concerned about is pre-orders since this is going to be a console that sells out instantly. So we really need to be ready, guys. But tell me what you think about this info. Did this publisher let slip the announce or release timing of Switch 2 here? And what time frame do you think the release of Switch 2 will happen? Summer of 2024 or fall of 2024? I'm very interested to hear what your thoughts are on this. Now, let's move on to the next piece of info on Switch 2. It's been discussed quite a bit over the last few months about Switch 2 using some sort of AI upscaling for its games, whether it's DLSS, FSR 2, or even this custom AI upscaling that is entirely made by Nintendo from that recent AI upscaling patent that we've seen, which is basically the same thing as DLSS using machine learning to upscale the image. Yet not actually DLSS since that wouldn't be something Nintendo would need to patent because it's already available by Nvidia. Now, interestingly enough, there are new rumors going around about PlayStation coming out with the PlayStation 5 Pro for a late 2024 release, with one key part of the rumor stating that PlayStation will use its own form of DLSS for the console. This sounds similar in theory to the patent that we've seen by Nintendo, correct? But this time it's PlayStation coming up with their own solution for DLSS and not using Nvidia. So this is where yet again, guys, I wanna put this disclaimer out there before we continue. These are all just possibilities that we will be discussing from here on out. These possible outcomes and on what direction Nintendo, Nvidia, and even PlayStation and Xbox could be moving towards in the future for AI because I've found some interesting info that could shed some light on these possible directions, but they are indeed based on real information that is actually possible and nothing here is made up and all the links are in the description for all the info you need for what we're going to be talking about. So in regards to this, I actually brought this up months ago in a gaming live stream I did regarding DLSS, but now I've gotten the documentation to back it up. But basically, there is a distinct possibility that Nvidia could actually release a variant of DLSS for consoles, not just for the Switch 2, but also for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X consoles. Now, I know many of you will say, that that's not possible since DLSS is only designed to work with tensor cores because it uses machine learning. And things like FSR1 and FSR2 are all software based and work open source for PS5 and Xbox series consoles, and even the Switch 1. And while this is technically true about DLSS, it is hardware based. Even DLSS can be made to work on PS5 and Xbox series consoles because both of those consoles have machine learning capability on a hardware level in their RDNA to AMD GPUs. The key factor is more about the language or the coding of how AMD's RDNA 2 and above GPUs use machine learning versus how Nvidia uses machine learning with its tensor cores. Now, say for example, Nintendo decided along the way over the last few years that what Nvidia was offering them wasn't really exactly the best for their needs for Switch 2, and they ended up using something from AMD, for example, to make it more in line for ports from PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles, but they still wanted to use DLSS as an option. How would they still get DLSS to work for Switch 2 is the question. Well, here is the very interesting part. There is actually an open source developer API called Onyx, O-N-N-X, that is used in game development and is designed to use, you guessed it, machine learning. Now, since it's open source, they have an Onyx for Nvidia and an Onyx for AMD. Now with DLSS, right now you can only use DLSS on an RTX GPU on PC games. And currently there is no DLSS option for any console, which is a massive market of money that Nvidia is missing out on, which they could actually get in on by releasing a blanket variant of DLSS for consoles with a licensed deal with Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. All without them doing hardly any work, mind you. 
All the coding and design of how DLSS works can theoretically be ported over to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series consoles and a hypothetical Switch 2 that isn't using an NVIDIA chip through using open source Onyx for developers. Now, of course, I get it personally. The entire approach of how NVIDIA operates has been trying to lock out DLSS from other GPU makers like AMD, so people would only buy NVIDIA's GPUs. But since NVIDIA are currently left out of a major console space for AI upscaling with PS5 and both Xbox Series consoles since it's been reported over the years how both Sony and Microsoft did not like working with Nvidia on PlayStation 3 and for the original Xbox in 2001, both companies were one and done with Nvidia for their chipsets, but fast forward to 2024 and DLSS for consoles would be a great move by Nvidia and for the consumer because pretty much everyone would agree that DLSS 2.4 and DLSS 3.5, which uses the best AI upscaling methods, look far, far better than any variant of FSR, which is all software based. So the point I'm getting at is due to how open source APIs like Onyx work with machine learning, it may not matter which chip Nintendo uses for the Switch 2, as long as it has some form of machine learning in the chip, we might be seeing DLSS for all consoles coming in the next few years, which would really be exciting and a better solution for everyone over FSR 2 and FSR 3 since it is possible to do this now and Nvidia could be really interested in making what would essentially be free money by licensing DLSS out to the big three. Now, of course, the PC market has AMD GPUs, which is a different story, but let's be honest here. AMD's GPU market is by far the smallest it's ever been, so there's really no reason for NVIDIA to bother, and it's ultimately up to NVIDIA to decide whether or not they work with AMD for the PC market, but I'm mainly only talking about the majority of gamers which are on consoles, which is now hundreds of millions of gamers. So of course, the question all boils down to, will NVIDIA end up doing blanket DLSS for all consoles? We really don't know for sure, of course, but that's why I enjoy making these videos, so we can discuss these types of exciting possibilities. Whenever something is possible, guys, I like to think it's fair game to discuss because in the tech world, you never know what surprises will await you in the future. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Have a great day.